Welcome to today's tutorial. I'm Susan and today we're going to be looking at how to crochet a really easy little lace edging. It's perfect for scarves, cushions, blankets, pillowcases, towels, blinds, whatever. Right, so that's a little sample worked in a 10 size 10 thread with a 1.5 millimeter hook. The sample we'll work today will use a DK cotton with a 3.5 millimeter hook. I've got a tiny little part of a blanket edged with this design and I've just done that so you can see you can work the corners quite easily by making sure the little pico part of this little motif come loops etc actually sits over the corner and you don't jump quite so many spaces when you make a loop. Right, having said that, I'll show you where I found the pattern. I absolutely love vintage crochet, particularly Irish crochet, and in the past I've shown you one of these books and we've looked at a pattern, but today we're actually going to be looking at the crochet edging. It's um, one of the Irish crochet edgings and it's this little one here. It's a narrow edge on silk. Now I've adapted it slightly for those of you who'd find it difficult to work directly onto fabric. And here is the pattern for those of you who are interested. It's just two rows. And as you can see, it's written in UK terminology. So wherever it says double crochets in the US, those would be single crochets. So it's worked with little picots, single crochets, and it doesn't really tell you exactly how to work this. Like a lot of old patterns, they assume the worker knows what to do. So I had a little bit of um, a headache working it out, if I'm honest, but eventually I found out how to do it. So I'll share that with you today. So let's begin. I'll just explain that the stitch count I've worked out as 10 if you're going to be skipping four little stitches in between. It depends on how big you want this loop to be or tall. The closer together the loops, of course, the taller the stitch and a little bit more spaced out gives a little wider finish. So I calculated if you were working across a single crochet border, work it as you jump, say, four stitches before you make your next stitch. So for a chain, a starting chain, working in multiples of 10 and then an extra two chains. So if we make a length of 32 chains to start, we can begin. The pattern is worked in multiples of 10 plus 2. So I've started with 32 chains for a small swatch. Ignore the loop on your hook and skip the very first chain. And then in each chain down the entire length, work a single crochet. You should end up with a total of 31 single crochets. So continue to the end and I'll meet you in a few moments. Once you finish your single crochets, just turn your work and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Skip that very first stitch and then skip one, two, three, four. And then slip stitch in the next space or the next stitch. And that's created a six chain loop turn and then over that six chains work two single crochets one 
two and turn again. Then work six chains, one, two, three, four, five and six. Skip four, one, two, three, four and work a slip stitch in the next stitch. Turn and work two single crochets over the six chains. You might find it helpful to just nudge them down a little. Turn and repeat. Six chains. And then skip one, two, three, four, and into the next stitch, work a slip stitch. Turn and then work two single crochets over the six chains and turn and repeat all the way to the end. So here we are at the end of the row. This is our last stitch having skipped one, two, three, four. Insert your hook and just work a slip stitch. Then turn and just like before, finish off this row with two single crochets over the six chains. And next we're going to start row two of the pattern. Work a total of seven single crochets across the chains into the space over the chain. You'll probably find that you need to just nudge those stitches across. Just have a count. So there's our one, two, beginning two, and then two, four, six. We just need one more. And just before we continue, I'll just let you know that we will be putting a stitch into the fourth of those seven chains. So it's count back three, one, two, three. And this is the stitch that we will be working into in a few moments. But before that, we work a pico, chain three, one, two, three. Now, the normal way to work a pico is to just come back into the bottom chain and work a slip stitch. You could then work a slip stitch into that single crochet, the side of the single crochet, like so. So there's your little pico. Next, chain three. In a few moments, I'll show you a different way to work a pico. One, two, three. Next, chain nine. This is going to form a little arch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then remove your hook, find that middle stitch, which we said was the fourth one along. So one, two, three, four. Insert your hook back into the loop, tighten it up 
and then pull that loop through. Then yarn over and pull through to secure it and give it a little tug. Then work three single crochets over the chains you've just made. One, two, and three. You can nudge those little stitches down. Then we'll work three chains and I'll show you a slightly different way to work the pico to give a slightly neater finish. You can just bring your hook down, up and over and then just complete the pico exactly the same way. Pinch and pull through and then work another three single crochets Of course you don't have to work your picots like that, you can just do them like I showed you with the first method. And now we'll work another picot. One, two, three. And then another three single crochets. Now we definitely need to push these little single crochets and picots round just a little because now we're going to work another picot. And a final three single crochets. One, two, and three. And then over the next, well not the next loop, but over the same loop, the next little length that was remaining there, place another three single crochets. Two, and three and then work seven single crochets directly over the chains into that next space. So once we've done that we'll have a look at the little picots and single crochet arches we've made. So we've lost count now. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. So there are your little picots. It is a little bit sort of imperceptible the difference but you do find it's just slightly tidier when you twist the pico. So you repeat now exactly from here we're going to do a pico into the little single crochet the side of the single crochet we're going to do three single crochets and repeat the little arch and that's all there is to this pattern to be quite honest. So once again, pico, one, two, three, into the side of the single crochet with a slip stitch and then work three single crochets one two three
next work nine chains. Once you've done your nine chains, remove your hook, find that fourth single crochet, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you can see it's the middle one. Insert your hook under the top two loops of that stitch, put the loop back on your hook, tighten it up and then bring it through tighten everything and work a slip stitch. Next, work your three single crochets, pico, three single crochets, pico, three single crochets, pico, three single crochets, just like you did here. Here. I'll just do the first one. One. Two. Three, edge them down, one, two, three, and then and once again. So do this twice more, followed by the final three single crochets. One more pico. Three more single crochets. One more pico. That time I didn't twist. Perhaps I'll just stick to the way I usually do it. <laughs> right. And then nudge them round and then work another three single crochets to finish. So we have a total of three single crochets over each nine chain arch. And then you skip straight over and work your seven single crochets over the next, sorry, you work, let's see, three, three single crochets, I do apologise, to finish off that little loop there. There we go. And then repeat the same here and I'll join you when we reach the end. I thought I'd better just first of all say the next loop is where you do your seven single crochets. One more makes seven, and then the pico. Back into the side of the single crochet with a slip stitch and then work your three single crochets. I know I said I'd meet you at the end, but I just thought it's not really going to take too long to just go over it once more with you. And now you're ready to come back on yourself with your nine chain loop.
and then you work your single crochets once again and your picots over your nine chain loop just as we did before. So just rewind the video if you're struggling to refresh you. So I've just completed the nine chain loop, single crochets and picots and now we need to complete this loop with three single crochets. One, two and three. And you can actually end with a little slip stitch in there if you prefer. And that's the completed little lace edging. You can manipulate these little picots and the single crochets and the picots on the nine chain loop just to even them out. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget if you've really enjoyed the video please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and I look forward to seeing you next time. In the meantime Take care and bye.